you've heard the influence. Obviously, he's done other things, but you've heard the influence of Mumaton on reggaeton in there. Where all mm -hmm. those producers, and again, I'm sure in the beginning it was hard for them to wrap their heads around it of like what this music was and <laughs> totally dismiss it. What it even it. means, yeah. Exactly, it because means. they're clearly waving the reggaeton flag, been doing it for God knows how many years, and they hear something called Mumaton. Like, it's one thing to be in the EDM community and hear that, and then you have a point of reference with the Chucky song and stuff like that. If you know, you know, like Dutch House, there's mm -hmm, a point yeah. of reference. But imagine being in reggaeton and, and hearing that word. No point of reference. You have, you're like, get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to hear the, de -de -de the car alarms. Like, I don't want to hear none of that. I, I get it. I totally mm -hmm. get it. But fast forward 10 years later, it's they clearly inspired clearly inspired them and and that's not to take anything away from them because they're making no, amazing no, no. shit yeah, as well of course not but it's like we should all be working hand in hand together like well, at this point at this point i i love to see it in a way i love the fact that i can sit here and say that i felt that i was part of a movement collectively that inspired a sound that became as popular as it did but it makes me sad that it there's no representation for us in that at all. For sure. And and I blame shit like that on the major players like Major Laser and For sure. You know what I'm saying? But and, and like but, but not it, even to name drop, but it's just like they were just calling they they weren't calling them anything. They of weren't course. they weren't labeled. I mean, there was no label. Lean attached, on right? come on. Lean on. That's what I mean. At any point they could have been like, this is Moombatone. That's at any point yeah. because that shit transcended everything. It was it started as an electronic thing. We all heard the demos. We heard the early versions of it. We heard the the versions that were like played at festivals before hit radio. I wonder who Ghost produced Lean On. Hit us up if if if, if it was you. Hit us up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then from, I mean it's probably DJ Snake the whole yeah, thing probably. Yeah, and yeah. then um. And then it hits radio. And then after it hits radio, it's a worldwide phenomenon. It's pop. At any fucking point, Diplo could have said, this is Mumatone. At any point, and the shit would have just went. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because he had everybody's eyes on him. Now, it's not his job to do that. Right. Definitely not. I'm just saying that he could have. But it wasn't his job to do that because they were not a Mumatone act. They were a dance hall inspired yeah. act. Right, 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 right. But that was the moment for that. Like, I'm over here like, yo, you hear Mumatone, you hear it. It's on the radio. It's I everywhere. Remember. Like, that was my way of explaining to people. Like, who like, had no that, idea what I did. It was like, you hear that song? That's it. That was like a good two, three years where I was like trying to have that same, like explain that to family and friends when we would hear the song. I was like, oh my God, like, we're in a fucking Target. And that's, that's, that's Moomatone right there. You know what I'm saying? But really, it's Ed Sharon. <laughs> yeah, that right? too. That too. That's right. And, and all this aside, it's like, you know, nobody was supposed to, like, maybe it wasn't his responsibility to stamp and be like this Moomatone. For sure. Because it wasn't his thing. It was just a sound that he was inspired he could, by. He could have definitely made it his thing. He made everything else his it could, thing. It could have. It could have. <laughs> He's sitting there snatching up all you young kids and making your sound his thing. Could have, but I mean, what? Like how? I, I don't know. I don't know. There was, there was nothing. I almost felt like there was just a point where it was just kind of like, there's nothing we could do. Like oh, it's for sure. Off. I knew that once that like that song went international and nobody said it was Mumatone, I was like, it's it's not that it's over, but it's like it's not gonna happen. It's yeah. not gonna happen right now. Like it's just not gonna happen right mm -hmm. now. And and again, I I say that not as a negative. I'm saying it as like, okay, so how do we fix this? And I think the biggest biggest mistake with Mumatone is. The fact that we latched on to that EDM community and stayed and so- And tried to be like adjacent to it. Exactly. Right. Try to be adjacent to a sound, to a community that was already there. You know, it's not like we were dubstep. <laughs> you know, yeah, like- yeah, exactly. It, exactly. We were like this in comparison to dubstep, you know, like, but, but I say that because of like dubstep has that built in like family feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like, oh, if you like dubstep, you like dubstep. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like, okay, I listen to some house and, you know, some trance or progressive, whatever. Like you listen to dubstep, you yeah. are a specific type yeah. of person. 
<laughs> you have specific friends and that community. And right. we were building that with Moments Home. Like on, on that lower level, we were building that. And I feel like as it went along, it became more about politics. I know specifically for my career, it became more about politics and trying to navigate within that because I was more just the music guy and didn't care about the politics. But I got to a point where I had to care and I had to play the game. And I had to step back because I don't want to play the game. I just want to make music. You know, right. I want to do cool shit with music. Like right. I, playing the game and, you know, being people's friends and, you know, like people who you know are not your fucking friends and all that shit. And like, oh, I'll, I'll do him a favor and he'll do this for me. Maybe, you know, like all that shit is bullshit, bro. But that's the game. That's that's the game. That's not it's not just like electronic music. That's the rap industry. That's, you know, I'm sure it's pop country, all that shit. All the yeah. people in Hollywood Hills. You see the fucking Sue and Puff for everything, taking everybody's <laughs> publishing, taking their virginities, uh, fucking butthole love. I don't know, man. I feel like th there was just like such a small knit community. And I feel like everything, like Mumatone was like spread out in pockets, right? It's just like there was like a pocket in New York, a pocket in DC, pocket in LA, pocket in Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If if I miss your your city or state, my bad. But for sure. All I'm trying to say is there were too many pockets in isolation and not enough like coming together and being for sure. like But everybody definitely showed love. Like that, that's the one thing I'll say is like like okay, so if I went to Miami and then from Miami go to Chicago, and Chicago go to DC, you know, there was love in all those little pocket communities. Oh yeah. No. But I, I think that there was also a disconnect because we weren't like working in tandem with each other. It was more so like, okay, I need to be the man in my city. Mm -hmm. And everybody's you, trying to throw their own party. We've even done it. Yeah. We, everybody was we trying to throw fucking, their own parties. We do parties that we did our shows. At, what do we call it at Bembe? I forget. We did that. I totally forgot. We did Liga Ritmo. The right. Liga we Ritmo tried parties. to, we tried to start that up. There were other parties that we tried to bring up and it, it was, it was interest. It was like weird. I mean, for, speaking from the perspective of like New York City, mm -hmm. there was like a really good time where like you could throw a Moomatone party in New York City and people gave a shit. Yeah, and then it just kind of just tapered off, and there was just like hard to even get people through the door. For sure. And like I feel like it was because Moomatone was still not well enough a household name, and it was still like very much like almost like an underground scene that deserve to be not as underground as like as it was but i got i got one too also we we're also trying to grab all those guys who are going to webster hall and right Terminal five like we were trying to cater to those edm people to come mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. hey come listen to mumatone yeah when they may or may not even be interested yeah, at all yeah. mm -hmm. but that was because mumatone was so attached to edm where it was like that was our lifeline you know instead of just building something grassroots by itself outside of it which is what it should be people had opportunities to do that yeah i mean you know like <laughs> yeah you know like this they know the story you know like but that was what that to me that was the biggest issue so like i feel and this is just totally my opinion like it has to it has to start with representation and that's through the music through everybody releasing shit constantly like i there shouldn't be a point where people search Moomatone. And it's just bullshit. Like, I get it. Every producer has, you know, a level of learning and, you know, experience or whatever. But I don't mean bullshit like, oh, this person is just learning how to make beats. I'm talking about the guys that, like, will do an obviously bullshit flip of a commercial song just to throw in their resident DJ set. And it's a terrible representation of Moombatone. Yeah. You know, like those type of things, those generic fucking oh, mixes. They exist. Yeah, no, they do because I see them all the time. Like, you know, the generic mixes on YouTube. Generic, like super fucking generic. Top 40 flip. Like, it's not a good representation. So, like, a person finding Moomatone for the first time is going to see this and just be like, this is EDM. This is EDM music. Or this is just but bullshit. But this is, why is this ED, why is this house track so slow? <laughs> or just totally turn it off and yeah, not care yeah, about it and not at all. It and so not be to me, it. it's like, okay, representation through the music, through the releases, through the mixes, constantly, and sticking together.